This is Sergey Belov from Time Valley of Tennis. Uh, before we jump into the video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Guys, really want to appreciate your comments and likes and subscription to our YouTube channel. And we also want to answer your questions. So, we want to thank David Conde, uh, wrote a comment under one of our videos uh, about how do you become more consistent uh, on your surf, the keys that you have to use to become more consistent. And that's what we're going to cover today. I know how guys you're excited to learn about consistency, but also look at the products that we use for our YouTube channel, the strings, rackets, cameras, and things like that. You can find links from Amazon underneath our video. You can, if you like some of the products, you can click and purchase them or you can look for other products as well. So a lot of people ask me, so how do you become consistent? Uh, how do you hit those serves constantly in 75% on the first serve, maybe all 100% on the second serve, no double faults? Uh, what is so important? So we're gonna uh, look at the very important keys and, and I'll give you a few tips to become more consistent. So one of them is to toss. Number one priority on the service is to have a consistent toss. Now, obviously, depending how you serve, you know, some people toss the ball uh, having their hand parallel to the, uh, to, to the uh, baseline. They kind of toss the ball curves a little bit. That's where they generate their rotation. It's more for advanced players, in my opinion, because it requires very consistent, considering that the toss is moving, the ball is moving. And if it's a little bit of wind, you might have some troubles. For uh, more amateur players, it will be probably easier if you have more line toss and just toss the ball straight up and down, where you could just uh, use your body weight going through the ball. Either way, you'll have to have consistent toss. So now, there's few ways to toss the ball. Now, if you, work, if you hold the ball on the tip of your fingers, you will gain the most amount of control. So you can hold it with four fingers or five fingers or three fingers. It generates the most control. Uh, a lot of people tend to hold it in the bottom of the hand right here and the ball curves a little bit or you can hold on to the ball too long. The ball is gonna curve behind you. That will cause the toss to be very inconsistent. You'll have to train a lot in order to make that toss consistent. So I'll suggest to hold it on the tip of the fingers. It'll be a lot easier. Now the way you, you, you release the ball, some people rush and they swing so hard with their hand, the release point becomes a little bit inconsistent. So I would start very nice and easy, just to just gently bring your hand up and release the ball in front. It's almost like you're passing keys to your friend on the balcony. You don't wanna just throw it out there. You wanna be very gentle and get the, the keys right to their hands, right? All right, so now we covered the toss. Now, second important part is how do you direct the ball and the targets that you're hitting in, right? So uh, you obviously have to use your body rotation or body weight going into the ball, and that's the way you're gonna rotate it. So for example, if you're, if you're hitting down the tee on the deuce side and all of a sudden your body weight is going all the way to the left, you're falling over a little bit, obviously you're not gonna be able to hit into the target that, that you're aiming at. Uh, now another problem could be when you're over rotating your hips So you stay you have to stay sideways longer in order to direct the ball where you're aiming But sometimes people over rotating and it causes them to slice the ball to the side and they start missing those. So those things you really have to pay attention to Another very important aspect some people have a forehand grip and they hit that pancake serve that happens mostly on the beginner level or even to 3-0 level. I have seen even 4-0 players having that problem. But the pancake serve, it really doesn't have any uh, consistency on it. You know, you technically you're gonna slow down. A lot of times when you start missing some serves, people just dink the ball over the net and uh, overturning. It causes your body to overturn because you cannot really pronate your forearm. Uh, you're gonna just have your forearm very flat. You cannot really accelerate your racket either because you're gonna hit your leg. Your racket comes down with the face open completely, which is gonna cause you to hit your leg. Plus, if you're completely open, any small change of your body position would cause you to miss the shots completely and, and miss the, the box. Now, two major tips that I'll give you at the end. So let's say you have appropriate technique, you're swinging well. Now, there are two major causes of mistakes. One 
is hitting the ball into the net and another one is hitting the ball deep so for example if you hit the ball into the net most likely even if you don't feel it you, you keep hitting you don't know exactly what's going on most likely your toss is too far away from you or too low that causes you to hit the ball down another cause would be overloading your front foot so when you're tossing the ball you're putting too much a weight on your front foot if you're a right hand player it will be your left foot and you and you're bending over which causes you to miss into net so if you start missing too many serves into net make sure you toss is closer to you and higher and make sure when you toss the ball when you load you you, you load your legs equally with your body weight now when you miss the ball deep I would suggest for you to accelerate your racket a little bit faster right before a point of contact and through the point of contact which is going to bring the ball down add a little bit of kick or slice on it as well which is going to give the rotation to the ball and bring the ball down into the court